can't believe that worked. I had to seize the... Untreated wounds. Ooh. I had to seize the opportunity because I've never had one so close I could hit it with a melee weapon. Uh, do I have untreated wounds? I don't see any status effect up here. I mean, I can use an antiseptic bandage. No, you don't need this. It's just informing me that it's a possibility, I guess. Odd time to inform me of that. I did He's not mean to do that. He's a downer! He's a downer! What did I just inject them with? This? I, I'm not sure. Remove symptoms of plague. That's the I. I don't. I don't know. Wait a minute. I think I maybe just saw it. No, that's an empty syringe. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I gotta get away from that body, cause there's other people coming. to take them out just to get their stuff. Chemistry set in a workshop. Where? Like right here? Hmm. Oh, I better run before they find the body. Switch back to the main quest. Yeah, we're pretty close to that. Sally should be over there. I want this dick spot, though. The power of the yam. Food, drink, and a bonus to stamina. in this yard the house of the house of doctors thankfully I can take doctors down though but that sounds scary no oh. just rest in my feet this place is terrifying Terrifying, like, fortune-telling powered thing. Right, there's definitely doctors in there. Man, just doctors in a fucking haunted house. You know what I need to do? Though? I need to dump the stuff in my inventory. I have a lot of weight. Yeah, let's... Let's get out of here. This looks like a very big place that's going to have a lot of loot. I just can't support the weight. Let's go visit Sally. Didn't work. It's a weird empty place. There's so many bobbies out here. Wait, what are you doing here? Sally's interplanetary travel agency. Well, that's fucking cool. It's fucking awesome. Oh, I thought it was like weird alien language, but it just hadn't loaded in. Right. 
So I need to go around back. Or this so oh, there's a doctor. Look at him just sniffing. Freaky people. Fortune. Okay, they turn around a little faster than most people, but still, got him. Ooh. What the fuck was that? Is there a trap or something? Drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. It's fine for now. I don't need a sprint. Ah! Yoink. Don't look this way. Don't look this way. Don't look this way. If I can't get in the store, I can climb up there to a window. I could just pick the lock, but you know what? Going in a window is kind of cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool. That is cool looking and also really weird. Now try not to fuck this up. You need a letter of transit. And an old friend. Oh, Sally. Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete ass was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh... Sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really going to do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter? Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I'd really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with? I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. I'm not crazy. But I am... always a little extra complicated. complicated. You used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You were always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really, really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just go. Oh, I meant to say. Cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us class. He keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. <sighs> C. 
so basically we treat Sally like shit and then we come back and apologize and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, you're fine. Oh, by the way, I really, I want to, I want to fuck you. You're, I'm your romance partner for this game. Oh, by the way, I definitely didn't have sex with anybody else for the past 10 years since we last went out or saw each other or something because you know you got to know that i've been keeping it pure for you or something i don't know bad just no i need sally's lab keycard for this i could just hack it kind of rude though isn't it and yet I'm still doing it. Is it stealing to take these things? Because, like, I don't want to steal from Sally. I know literally it's stealing, but I don't think it's recognized as stealing. No, it's not. Better chemistry said it's upgraded. Of course, I still don't actually know what the upgrade does. <laughs> it's a mystery. What's that? In case of emergency, use nothing. Blower. Saltbeater. I'm such an asshole taking all this stuff. Oh no! Snug as a bug on a drug. It's just like crafting ingredients galore, because that's what Sally does. They're a tinkerer. No blueprints. Oh, I can. Oh, it's gonna use my one sewing kit. No. I'm not using that up on shoes. Compliment machine? device. That's just the front door, right? Yeah. Uh, hi. A lot of activity out here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sure you got enough people patrolling the streets? Oh, this is where the other soldiers that we need to reunite? That's pretty close, actually. I totally forgot what I was doing for the main quest. Oh, right, we're going to Howarth Labs. That massive lab that we just went to a little bit ago, actually. Oh, we have a note. Why did Sally kiss me? <sighs> it's not possible that she really wants me, is it? Because that is a consummation devoutly to be wished. And when you want something that much, you tend to miss the signs that you've lost all touch with reality. But for one shining moment, I was the hero at the end of the movie, and I got the girl, then I pulled away. Why did you pull away, Arthur? I can't read more of this. Fuck you, Arthur. What kind of a hero are you? Yeah, what a hero. Treated her like shit and then apologized. 9 points. What was I saving up for? Oh, more health, right. Yeah, let's get another 50% max health.
Well, we're in the area. Let's head up to the other soldier. for the next minute. Hello? Hello? Captain Lawrence? I've got a message for you, sir. Captain Lawrence, sir? I think I need to go inside. Could just pick the lock. But let's see if we can find an easier way to get in. Yeah, just open. Oh, what is this? Reminder, uh, in a container or not, on top or below something, up high or was it down low? No combination required. Hmm. What the hell are you doing there? We can't run with all this stuff. The thanks of a grateful nation. Letter from Lawrence's family. Dear Uncle Edward, not that you care, but Papa is dead. Well, dying anyway. The cask has already arrived. Though, entre nous? Is that Latin? It was dearer than it ought to have been. No one listens to me. You should not expect anything in Papa's will. You know why. I am only writing to ensure you won't have the audacity to come to his funeral as the family still cannot forgive you for your cruel theft of his beloved dog. You stole their dog? What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> it seems like they really loved the dog, though. What a nice dog. That's not a good sign. Oh, n no. Blimey. Strange meat, mushroom. I don't want another rifle. My dear Thomas, can we not forgive and forget now that we're both in our twilight? It was half a century ago that we brought Bonnie Prince Charlie across the channel from the horrible trenches of France. I know you loved him as I did, and that I was wrong to steal him from your garden and keep him from you all those years. What you perhaps did not know is that I also loved Sarah. Yes, your Sarah. Did she ever tell you that I'd proposed? I never spoke of it again, but when she preferred you to me, I went out of my mind with jealousy and grief. I suppose part of me wanted to make you hurt as I did. But looking back, I think I stole Charlie because I needed someone in my life to love. You've had a large, loving family all these years. All I had was Bonnie Prince Charlie for his few remaining years. Then, nothing but loneliness and longing since. Can you not see it in your heart to forgive your poor brother in your final days, knowing that you've had so much love and family in your own life? P.S. I hope I have the courage to send this. I don't... I don't know if they did have much love from their family. Seems like their family hates them. A dog. They were fighting over a dog. Mysterious letter. Dear Colonel, how do you like those apples? Threatening note. The hell? 
If they're being threatened, were they murdered? Canteen, some rocks, jerky, jimmy bar, music boxes. Ooh, a fully charged torch. Dick spot. Do I still have the quest or is that over? Return the journal to the brother, right? Yeah. You like my looting methodology? Don't mind me. No. Just having a bit of a sit down. Bad methodology. Damn, that trash can is glowing. It's like radioactive. That's it. Went to the nearest shelter here in St. George's home. Dumped off a bunch of stuff so I can finally carry more things. And you know what time it is? It's time to craft the Sledger. The much better version of a non-lethal weapon than what I had before. Moderate non-lethal damage can strike multiple opponents with one swing. Of course, linen, a sewing kit, cloth scraps, and a cricket bat. Nice. Also, wouldn't mind a really good lethal damage weapon. You know, I was trying to go completely non-lethal before, but I'm switching over to a mixture. A real mixture. I like the shovel. I don't know, what do I have? I have so much stuff. Surely I have something really... Fantastic. Already, that does a lot of damage. Really, the best thing that I have stored away that I can find for doing lethal damage is the axe. The, uh... What was it called? You know the special pipe thing that I found by pressing all those three buttons within a certain time frame down in that dark place? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> Um, that does a little bit more damage than the axe, but it doesn't hit multiple targets at the same time. And if I'm going to be using something lethal, then I'm probably using that in a situation where I'm kind of overwhelmed with a lot of enemies and just need to just plow through a bunch of them. So hitting multiple targets at the same time is really important for a lethal weapon for me. This, by the way, this thing is the, the quest item that we got from that club. And it, it doesn't weigh anything, because it's a quest item. You can't get rid of it, you can't store it. It doesn't weigh anything, it's just always going to be there. It's also not very good. Let's start exploring the town again. So crafted all that stuff, slept, ate, all that good stuff. Just right outside the hatch, we got a dick spot. I can't wait to try out this new weapon. Oh, look at that thing. It is a cricket bat covered in like a quilted, uh, what do you call that? Like a patchwork quilt? And then I think it's got some dolls taped to it or something. Lightning rod, lead pipe, enhanced rock, tosser, tosser. Increases damage dealt by throwing weapons. Oh, there's a dig spot there next to the thing that scolds you. Let's see if I can sneak in there. Oh god. I don't have any shoes on. Huh. I don't have any sewing kits. Okay, are you gonna know I'm here? You are not Please clear the area immediately. Damn. What if I just said F it? 
That's not very smart, is it? Please step away immediately. Oh. Well, all right, since we're already doing this. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. All right. Yeah. whistle. Does that just make them come? Well, they're fucking off. Oh, tempura. Oh, mores. Oh, dear. This is gonna be loud. Advanced machine bits. I still want to finish digging that thing. Please step away immediately. I don't know what I just got exactly, but I got it. I'm good. Old soldiers, let's go complete that quest. Oh wait, hold on. Oh dear. Better not mess with me, I'm busy. Ooh. Nice. Oh man, my axe is about to break though. But that was satisfying. Oh dear. Why is there a mannequin in the driver's seat? Maybe that's why they crashed. Sorry to bother. Get toasty. Yeah. Search coffin. Oh, there's a prop proper suit in there. I actually don't have one. Brother, I'm afraid I'll, I've been to his house. So I was too late. How? Uh, an accident. With a bookcase. Ah, shit. Shit. What's the use? I meant to talk to him sooner. I wrote him so many letters. Maybe I should have sent them. No, sir. Thank you, sir. I, uh... I don't suppose you found a footlocker there? A footlocker? No. I left a footlocker in his house. I'd rather you have it. That's very kind of you. Uh, where is it? Regret. It's what makes us human, son. Don't forget that. No, sir. Thank you, sir. You mean, do you mean this footlocker? Electroshock. Thingy, empty torch, antiseptic, bandage, a couple sovereigns. 
Thick spot. Military jacket. Ooh, and a special antique rifle. Seems too fragile to use, but wouldn't it look impressive over the mantelpiece? British Army officer's jacket. Worn with a pair of British Army trousers, this makes a man resemble a British Army officer. Oh, that could get me into some good places. But I need the trousers. Where am I going to find those? I think this might fit, actually. I'd need the trousers. Find Lost Footlocker. So wait, is that the one at the other place? Or... Yeah. Oh, I just realized they just died. I thought they just like fell asleep. They just they just died. <laughs> Rancid stew, rotten apple, and some screws. I'll take the loose screws, thanks. Just heading up here to find the footlocker and found that there's uh, another shelter here. Let's get that because, yeah, there's a pretty big distance between here and there. Be nice to have a place to warp to. Wellington Underground. always wonder what's going to be wrong with them. Because they usually have to do something. Clean bandages. Rubber ducky. Oh my god, it's huge. For this one. I could come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. It's a vending machine too. I'll check that out in a minute. Recipes there. None here either. Let's check out the vending machine. Hmm. It's mostly about selling torches and jabs and a thing that clears that food poisoning. Although I think I already have at least one of that. I'm good. Nice to see you. Supposed to be a footlocker somewhere around here. Yeah, let's try to find it. There was that note about up high or down low, I don't know where, something something. This seems so non specific that it's useless. So I think I might as well just look around myself. But let's walk slowly and carefully, methodically. Might be shoved down under something. This house has an attic, but how'd you get into it? It does? 
thank you for the hint. There's probably a pull-down string or something. I'll take the enhanced rocks now. I got the space for it. Yeah. Either there's like a secret way to open it. Or I just need to look up and find a pull string or something like that. Let's just look up. Um, let me get a flashlight out. I think that's just a weird glitch. Yeah. Is that anything? I think that just connects to that security box over there that's fried. I wonder if there's some sort of secret door. But how do you trigger it? Oh. Just found it, buddy. Sandbags. The place is all fortified. Oh my god, they even have a mine here. Still don't have a multi tool. Oh. Alright. Movement of troops, probably, during the war. Military pants. Also a bigger banger? Whoa. Now I can join the army. As an officer, unless... I'm very curious how I'm going to use that. Uh... Hello? Anyone out there? This is Central. Watch your report, over. Uh, who is this? This is Central. Who's this? Are you in the resistance? N no, no, well, uh, I suppose I, I sort of am, a bit. Yeah, yes, I I'm definitely with the resistance. Are you the new recruit? Y yeah, yeah, I, uh, uh, not that long ago. Feels like a while, though. Uh, they call me Striker. Are you ready for a mission? Where are you? We need you to rescue Peachy Carnahan. He was captured trying to infiltrate the secret lair of the evil Dr. Belloc. Oh, God. <laughs> that in the treehouse. I'm talking to Johnny Bolton, aren't I? This is the special operations executive. The lad with all the dolls? If you're not in the resistance, just get off this channel. <sighs> so much for the resistance. I love the bait and switch there, like, whoa, is there a resistance going on outside? Like, that'd be a really important event to know about. And then, no, it's nothing. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? If you won't play, I won't play. You bet! <laughs> 